Hello people of YouTube, this is Celesto Infinite 678 here to bring you Kofiwu. Um if you if any of you guys seen this beta, which um, some of you have, um something happened with um the beta that I posted. So I have to redo it again so I can have it right there on on my channel. <clears throat> so yeah, here we go again. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. Um, gender is male, age is 23, birth is January 12, 1994, his height is 6 feet tall and 7 inches, his weight is 189 laps, his species is human, his homeland is vocative, his weapon and abilities, um, the <coughs> Shuitu, um, first of all, he is a crystal wielder. We all know what that is. Um, then this, this is his um, first form of his weapon. What it can do is um, it can be uh, held by both hands or just the left hand because it is a crystallized one. So it will it, this one's more stronger or it can like withstand more weight from anything. Um, for this user and whatnot, um, the this thing can shoot mini saws or like the way how um large z zones are or, or whatnot but yeah again shoot mini saws able to cut most things if either split so like this if they split like that let me just go ahead and put you more in the back if they split like this either split or together um it can charge up to 10 seconds and to shoot out bigger saws about nine feet uh wide um uh, but those do don't cut things <sighs> oh my gosh oh, my bad um they penetrate what they impacted um f of for ice spikes to partially come out of whew, oh my gosh uh out of um the object that is being destroyed and whatnot so those are that and the second form is um the spike cree which is this baby right here it is um somewhat lighter than the first form of the weapon but it can be heavy with the user making the spire spire this part or the tip of the blade um create a, a glacier of ice uh making the blade heavier than the first one it doesn't just have to be used to for smashing opponents it can it is able to it's able to split the glacier into millions of ice spikes controlling them with moving or um, telekinesis so that's that um, and yeah and just to quickly show you how he holds them so like that and then the other one I'm trying to do this quickly so I won't bored you guys And that's the other weapon, like so. Okay, so his element is ice. His equipment, artifact, artifact is crystal soul. His personality is dependable, tempered, and a fable. A fable. Oh my gosh. Um, ability, ability and skills. Artistic problem solver and work with others. I'm not sure if that's um. A ability, but we're just gonna slap that one in there. His likes is his his old friends, new friends, and being a master. His dislike is desert, stubborn species, and abandoning friends and families. All right, backstory. Uh, hopefully, I can um, quickly go through this um, and whatnot. Whew. Cole was born without a lower arm, a lower left arm 
growing up, he'd get used to to it for almost his whole life, and his whole almost his whole lifetime, <clears throat> and oh come on, come on, come on! I'm trying to do this quickly. Okay, um, in the time of his childhood, he liked being with two people, Sunera and Koto. They they've been friends for four years, done things together. Him and Koto argue with each other. Um, sometimes Sunera would have to calm them down. At times, not every time though. The day that Cole will hate in the day is the day that. Oh gosh, I'm not very good with. I'm talking very quickly. Whew. Um, uh, the day that Cole will hate is the day he and Sunera had to move out. Both families went to different cities or towns. However, yeah, let's just go with that. I'm so cities or towns. Uh, Koto did not move out, for his family were staying in the neighborhood. Time passes. Um. Time passes. Cole being in high school, yes, high school. Mm -hmm. That high school time. Whoo! Oh, we all know that high school time. Getting bullied for having one arm, not able to defend himself at all. He tries to cover himself as best he can, but doesn't do him no good. Him having enough, he walks. He walks away from home in the cold winter night. To die, wishing he can see his friends again, he he slips down a hill accidentally, accidentally, not purposely. So yeah, um, um, of snow, stopping until he gets to the bottom of the hill. He just lays down, waiting for something to eat him up or the cold freezing him up. Um, like freezing up, like um, one of those things. Oh, anyways, um, laying there on the opening, uh, light glows on his left side. Uh, not noticing it, snow starts to move to his left arm, almost freezing to death. The ice attaches to his limb, forming a lower arm. For him, for him, then crystallizing, crystal, crystal, crystallizes. It holding a crystal soul, Cole was able to feel movement he never felt before. He gets up and sees his left arm in is complete, uh, or whole. Happy in a way, he is confused as to what the crystal is for. He decides to get it back home to ask his parents. Like later when he, they arrived in Wanan, <clears throat> so yeah, um, uh, to to ask his parents, um, what the to what the crystal was for his parents were confused as well. Um, uh, the dad wanted to to take it somewhere so they can see what it was. The crystal, um, uh. Use some spikes to like defend itself or like some defending mechanism thing. So he didn't try. The dad didn't try to take it away from him again, and why not? So he just uh, left it to his kid, and then Cole went to take it to his teacher to ask him if he knew something about that, and he was correct to take it because he he knew what it was, and he told him what it was that he needs to. Focus and to、um, hear the crystal itself because the crystal is alive, dead but alive, and the, he was able to talk with the crystal and whatnot. That he needs to go to some vortex that is visible only to the chosen ones, and that they had to be accompanied accompanied by a crystal soul. So yeah,、um, hopefully this is not so much of a problem or so much of a. I don't know. It's just just a problem, but I had to do it again because I wanted to be in my channel and whatnot. But、uh, yeah,、uh, hopefully you like this again、uh, <laughs> and give it a like, share with your with anyone and your or your Marcus friends. 
um, give a give it a like if you like it, or give it a dislike if you dislike it, and if you dislike the quality and whatnot. Um, follow follow my social medias that I will have in the description below, and um, click that um, subscribe button and be notif and then click that bell next to it to be notified of the videos when I post them, and then this one I'm gonna repost it. <laughs> All right, and I forgot to show you how he looks like, so slowly slowly but it's like past um those 10 minutes that i don't want to but um yeah that's uh, um call five five fee woo for you um thanks for watching and this is celestial infinite six seven eight uh flaming out bye bye right here bye bye